morning, Ebenezer family and friends. Today is 1st of March 2022. Uh, this is a special edition for our Elia news. Uh, we were very busy since last week to react on the things happening like in Europe. And you all know what I'm speaking about. Uh, uh, there are thousands, hundreds of thousands fleeing, escaping. Uh, and of course, many of them are Jewish people and many of them are Olim, people who want to go to Israel. So I, I just thought I want to update you on our activities and uh, to encourage you to continue to pray to stand with the people who arrive at the border with almost nothing, a lot of them. So I, I just want to speak about what we are doing and please understand we will not uh, communicate uh, too many details. Uh, so, well, we immediately send a team of six people, which uh, you can see on this picture from Germany with two cars and uh, to investigate how are the situation on the spot at the border with Ukraine. So we set up uh, and, and we are so thankful for this six young, uh, five young men, one uh, a sister here from the local church and, and one friend. So who, who, who really were willing to, to leave their jobs, leave their families and just move immediate. Uh, without knowing what uh, they will expect there. So they were investigating places and they set up now an operational base already within uh, like a day for us, uh, a base where now we have uh, some beds ready and now we, we are, we are try just trying to acquire to rent another a place three minutes away. So we have a certain amount of beds for the Ulim coming over and of course for our teams to stay uh, from where we can operate. Uh, we may uh, need to open another base uh, more in the north of the country, uh, but this uh, we will see in the coming uh, days or maybe even today, tomorrow. So I myself, you know, I live in Germany. I'm, I'm ready to go tomorrow. Different uh, teams are on the way from France, uh, two vehicles uh, and uh, Netherlands uh, offered help. Uh, they will send a driver tomorrow with me. And in Germany said different teams ready to go anytime when we call them. We already had two cars from Germany over the weekend, which they were a great help and helped really uh, in a rescue operation from one of our team members from Ukraine. Uh, she was uh, sick. She still is sick and needs a prayer. She was tested positive. We, we, we now have a room for her uh, and we have to see how many days she needs to recover. Please pray for, especially for the team who is still operating in Ukraine. So I, I again, I can't mention your details, but they need prayer. Some of them are in, in not easy situation, but two teams, they could make it after four days travel which normally takes a, a day trip, you know, that is uh, it's horrible situation within the land uh, and we try to bring help as, as soon as possible. We also had two young uh, uh, from our pioneer team men who were courageous to enter into Ukraine. They have seen miracles, almost like angels guiding them. It fit, would fill a whole book, hours. Uh, they took to enter in and to come out again. And at the end, they met someone from our team because we brought the necessary resources into the country uh, to help our teams to continue with the work. Uh, you know, the whole banking system, everything is affected. Uh, so that was a real miracle. And thanks to this uh, two men, one, one English, one German uh, brother together who were courageous to enter in, in the land. and. Uh, maybe we have to enter again soon. Uh, I, I, I hope to, to be able maybe next week again. We won't tell you details, but that's what's going on. So we set up a base. More uh, vehicles are coming. We need uh, probably uh, set up uh, uh, regular transfers from the border to, to the capital in where we are operating. And uh, so that needs vehicles, drivers. 
please, uh, uh, if, if you're watch this from Europe, from one of our Ebenezer operating bases, uh, speak with the local leaders and we coordinate volunteers through our uh, Bournemouth office uh, because it needs uh, now it, we, we just started to go in the chaos but things will be more ordered hopefully the next some some days we also have now someone uh, my assistant uh, uh, Sarah, uh, he he will take over from the pioneering team having all the contacts uh, there and uh, yeah so thanks again for the fast response also for every giving already people send money uh, to purchase vehicles i think i know at least two Euro european countries who now buy vehicles uh, some already have some and send them others will buy more uh, so that's great but also the, the the number of people who takes their own vehicles to use in a first response, that's great. So it, it's one of the largest operations. Maybe we were involved since the ships. It's, and we have to set it up. I mean, you think to set up a base uh, in, in a few days, which normally takes a long time to find the right people, that's all in the process and, and God has helped us. We have seen many, many miracles already of provision and uh, today it is very clear we will set up a second base in Hungary. Uh, we have even today someone coming. It's uh, people mainly from Switzerland, uh, Austria, maybe Romania. So we focus on this access to help in Hungary. We will have people at the border and maybe with a tent and, and uh, receiving them, giving them first information and helping them then to come uh, to the center where further help uh, will be given. So uh, again, we send today someone there to Hungary and that's a, a, a young man from Ebenezer, but of course we never had to do this before. So a lot of helpers we have now, they are pioneers in it and we learn on the move. Please pray for our, uh, uh, yeah, she was a for, former base, worked in our former base in, in, where we were operating in Ukraine. She's sick with COVID, uh, that she recovers soon, that her daughter will not get sick, that, that uh, yeah. And, and people, of course, you know, how in the country, when our own even is a family, that's really made me cry a lot the, the last some days. I mean, they're struggling, they're losing their lives. They don't know if ever again, some of them will see their husbands. So naturally speaking, you know, men are not allowed to come out general. There are some men coming out because if you have a certain amount of children, you have the allowance, you know, the, the boy, the son, he's just over 18 of this lady. He had to stay, he was not allowed to cross the border. And in the natural, you don't know, you know, what, what, what will happen. So. That's something very emotional. If you are PF people in the war zone where like the, the, the bullets are flying over some day and night and they have to find shelter. That is also something which uh, affects your soul, especially if you have children, if you have a family. Uh, I know all our people working there, they are so courageous. They don't care for their own life, but they have families. And, and uh, let's pray that God has miracles of protection and maybe some of them can find a way out. Uh, pray that we have enough gasoline, you know, there's, there's a lot of problems now in the country, food, everything is needed. So uh, thanks for your support. And also we prepare in Israel a possible receiving a lot of Olim. So we have to connect with the local authorities and see what we can do. As you imagine, that is is a is a is a maybe a lot uh, we, we have to give, we have to invest to rent rooms, but it's worthwhile. I remember I've been to so many places, Holocaust museums, Cory Ten Boom House, and then we always say, oh, there were people, Christians who made a difference. And look for me, it's if I can save one Jewish life, all our efforts is worth. So if we now, as even easier family worldwide, can stand together, I think we can save not only one. We can do something so special, something so important. So please 
do not stop to, pr to pray. And it's now not about pol politics. It's now about helping the people which arrive at the border, frozen. Some of them tell us they have waited 20 hours or longer. I mean, in the cold, it's a minus degrees, you know, with almost nothing with them. So that's what, what, what we see. And we want to, uh, of course, we could help all refugees. They all are precious before God, but God has given us a special mission with the Olim or I mean, we said, I'm open as long as we feel beds for especially any Jewish people, we will try to help as good as we can. And let me also finish with one thing I have noted already. The church in Poland has really stood up. They have reacted so fast. They are such a support. I mean, that's incredible. The, the, uh, the friendship they give, the love they give, the support we receive from Polish people, from Polish churches. That's something I have not seen a lot in my life. So we can really thank God uh, for this and, 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 and praise God for this. The support we get now from, from different, even Eastern countries from US, Swiss and others. I mean, all, I don't want to mention one more than the others who said immediately, Sarah Fund, Sarah uh, volunteers. If it's a long-term operation, we will need maybe more and more volunteers coming in. And we set up, as I said, in Bournemouth, our, uh, uh, our people are prepared to coordinate this. But you coordinate in your nation with, with your leaders and then you contact Bournemouth and they will tell you what to do and not. Uh, at the moment, we cannot even receive all the volunteers who want to come because we have to get things sorted out. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the situation. Let us pray together. Father in heaven, we thank you that for you this situation is not new, that you are prepared and that you will help every uh, uh, people, uh, of, of every Jewish people, Lord, to come out, Lord, to find a safe place and to move to Israel in security. Lord, heal them, especially the children, the mothers without fathers who now Go alone, a new step in a country they maybe have not planned yet to go there, Lord, to, to have to start a new life. Uh, Lord, helps and helps and prepare everything needed so they can have the real shalom in their hearts. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. May God bless you. Thank you.